Hey, ABF. What is going on? Yeah. Crazy Mikey. Mikey, what's up? Look at Mikey. He likes it. Give it to Mikey. He hates everything. Look, Mikey. He likes it. A fresh prince. Oh, we're going to cause. What's up there, everybody? How are you today? Gearing up. Legal Steroids, Mikey's favorite. Gearingup.com presents. Oh, I'm very tired today. I'm not very lively right now. Hey, Big Arms Howard, what's up there, Matt Howard? Matt to the Howard. My building blocks. Ah, uh, so everybody's having a good day, I hope. Good. Paul, who good uh, who's like he's been dribbling the basketball in Philly, yes. I guess because of my shirt. Does he wear shirts like this? That uh, what's his name? Fresh uh, fucking uh, uh, hopping on Beach. Oh, I have my hot stuff in here. Oh, yes, the white bang me all night. I, my dream, Alec. Oh, I got new YouTube channel. Built the, oh, Steiner, what's up? Clothing will be ready for the sale at the end of the week. Good for you, bro. Alec, let's pray for that. Johnny Juice, Stoop, Stoop, to the Stoop, to the Stoop. What's up, Stoop stuff? Oh, you fucking cunt. These fucking things. Shut the music off. It's coming to a close in two seconds. It's ending. Here it comes. Welcome, everyone. Hi. Big Lenny's Ab. Never seen you so tired. I know. I don't know why. I'm just, uh, you know, I was sitting here doing work all day, doing the usual, and I just was like... I could go for a nap. Dude, are you a junkie? This is my first time here. It's unwatchable. I'm sorry, my friend. I'll put a video up on YouTube, bro, about supplements. Why don't you put a video up about lesbianism? Let's see that. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to LegalSteroids.com. Presents Gearing Up. I am your host, Joe Pitaro. I publish Muscle Sport Magazine. And this Hamburg. What's going on? Is that better? Hey. <laughs> Tired because you're a junkie. Uh, yes, I am. I use heroin every day. Three bags. Three bags a day happen. Talk dirty, please. You're usually you're jumping off the walls. This is worrying. It's just, you know what it is? I've been staying up late, getting shit done, and I've been fucking tired. I posted the new Muscle Sport TV today. It's got the J Masters on it, of course. I was up late last night getting that motherfucker ready to be posted today. So I got that finished today. Hardcomer in the house, what's going on? The hot stuff kicked in. And the alcohol! <laughs> You're selling juice, yes. <sighs> Crystal Wildfire Anthony. There's somebody that could wake me up in a heartbeat. Am I now? Tired I am. I'm tired today, Crystal. I'm tired. I need somebody to tickle me to wake me up. Oh, yes. Sanzone Jason. Welcome to the program. Denise, world of bodybuilding. Welcome. up. Uh, you all right, bro? Uh, yeah, I guess I am. Everybody in the bodybuilder from Thailand. Everybody is the bodybuilder from Thailand alternate account. Is it? Oh, good. I'm glad. Joe, your balls are so used to keep you doing live. You need to get the views up. Joe, what was your first name on the force? Oh, my nickname on the force? I didn't see that. 
Oh, this is a T. Michael shirt. They advertise with us. They make uh, they make bodybuilding apparel. Where are your shirt from? T. Michael. See, it's got this guy with the sunglasses on. Deco Winstrol and Clem Buterol cycle. What you think? Deco Winstrol and Clem. You don't need Winstrol and Clem. It's too many fucking things that are like it's gonna it's like cut you up. What do you think about people who quit their job for YouTube? Uh, it, God bless them. <laughs> I guess I'm jealous. Uh, they talk about you because they talk about themselves. Nobody listens. Show that shirt. Look, it's piss. See, it's T. Michael bodybuilding gear. Click on the button, uh, the banner on the on my on my my homepage there. Uh, Richie Burt, right, Richie Burt? And Wolfpack, click on the homepage uh, banner, and it'll bring you to their website, and you can purchase the same shirt here. And then uh, you can be a T. Michael uh, fan, too. It looks almost like a Charlie Brown shirt. Nobody worse than Johnny Bravo. Why, everybody's... Every, every DZD... It me, I'm back. Big Lenny's ab is back. Hey, what's up? T. Michael has been around for decades. Yes, since the 80s. Mel Melody Mello, Dave interviewed her stepdad intentionally had her on trend at age 13. Are you shitting me? Me Melody Mello. Oh, I think I know who you mean. You still got MSM shirts. Of course I do on the store page. On the store page, bro. But I, this is uh, one of the sponsors that I I, I, I like to wear a different uh, apparel of different people and uh, legal steroids. I don't have they don't have shirts. I want to be wearing one of those. Just watch Lenny's live. He drained thirty pounds of water. Where did he drain it from? Uh, he's he's home right because Jay Masters on his thing. He went and visited him in the hospital and said that he came home and he sent me that video yesterday. You think about that, Dale Joe. Do you have any thoughts on the Antifa putting that guy Asian? Yes. Um, I did see, you're talking about the one in Portland, I guess. Portland, Oregon, Ariana's biggest fan. And there is, um, they said that they, they have um, photos of the bad guys that they've looked at the videos and so they're going to look try to get them and arrest them. He ended up on heroin. He's out of the hospital. He drained it from his left nut. That sounds just like too painful. I've been working 10 hours a day. That's even longer than 9 to 5. Do you think there will be magazines around in 10 years? No, I don't. Except for mine, if I still feel like printing it. <laughs> Rip City, yes, they just re signed Lilla to a big fucking extension. Fuck Antifa. I want to. I want to. I want to actually get them, and I want to put my dick in every one of them. Yeah, they're pretty fucking, uh, you know, they're just pieces of shit, really. Um, you know, they're fucking, uh, I wouldn't even call them terrorists. They're like pussies. They throw milkshakes on people, but some of those milkshakes that they shoot at them, uh, squeeze at them, are quick-drying cement. That must be pretty fucked up. <laughs> Do you remember your magazine's birthday, Joe? Um, well, the first issue was fucking fall 2009. I can't, that's as far as I can go as far as telling you what, uh, the birthday of it. You come to Strong and Shapely Gym. Not, uh, not unless we have a, a, an event over there. That's like a good two and change from my house. So I won't go there just like to, to, uh, chest and arms day. Cindy Crab, Proud Viking, what's up, Joe? What did you think about Jimmy Butler signing with Miami? I think it's kind of weird. Squirt, I like the squirt milkshakes, yes. <laughs> Greg Valentini straight away. Yes, definitely. Bob still owns it, yes. Uh, do you, I, I love Boston Lloyd. He's a columnist for us. But, yeah, um, uh, I think that I'm a little puzzled by that Butler to Miami, why he wanted to go there. I know it was a sign and trade thing. <laughs> Uh, but it was more of a free agent signing that was uh, worked out as a sign and trade. I was kind of confused. Philly's a, a much better team, uh, you know. So we need muscle player in here. Who's muscle player? I hope it's a girl. <laughs> uh, Cindy Cus 
Sparson. Cindy Kasparson. She's a sexy chick. She's a sexy chick. Yes, so a lot of things going on in the uh, NBA free agency fucking racket. No mas, Jose. Hamburg needs a job. A job. A job. Uh, so that's the story with that. Cindy Kasperson, Gobi's throwing kisses. I wish I had you here so I can kiss you in poison. Whole bunch of shit in Miami. Many because he couldn't win there. You know, he seems to be a fucking high maintenance guy. You know? It's like I thought originally he wasn't when he's with the Bulls, but it seems like he's showing his true colors the past few teams. Too many fucking stops where it's, uh, you know, we're looking to fucking, you know, he's, he's looking to. Uh, but people saying locker room things. Glad to hear that, Cindy. Cindy is doing well. I hope she's doing well. I didn't see the previous comment. So I hope she's saying she's feeling good. Poke, what's up, RP? What's going on, pal? Yes, I need a joke. I can travel to... I need a job so I can travel. What did I say? What did I get a joke from? Somebody wrote joke of the day before. That's what it was. Pal, it's Kevin. What's up, PK? Uh, what's going on, guys and girls? I'm doing good. You better be doing good. Because if you're not, I'm going to be mad. What do mafia and pussies have in common? Oh, God, I want to see the reason. The, 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 the punchline of that one. What do the mafia and pussies have in common? I'm like match game. Yo, wait, do we see the answer to that? One slip of the tongue and you're in deep shit. Oh! <laughs> that, I have never heard that. That actually is very good. <laughs> it's good being in deep shit when you're at the, with the, with the, the pussies. Because that means you're licking her ass. And yes, once again, analingus is mentioned on a program by this fucking company. You can find the punchline to that one in a fart box, Joe. A fart box, a.k.a. the ass. That is good, right, Alec? I, 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 excellent job, Jose. Excellent job. Smegma 2020 is running for president. That, that might as well be any one of those fucking douchebags from the Democrat Party. What about that fucking Williamson, or whatever she is, the author? We have the best country in the world. I'm going to call New Zealand and tell them. Ugh. I mean, I looked at her, I'm like, she looks bangable sometimes. So keep talking, baby. <laughs> keep talking. Brettwit75, what's up? Rob Frigay, what's up? Welcome to the program, guys. Welcome to the program. And Insta Fit India. All the way from the peninsula. Welcome to the program. Gav! I think I speak for everyone when I say that the next Amazon cover, we want King Rob spreading his butt. You want Rob on the cover? Joe is the Babe Ruth of ass jokes. Yes, but Nomas Jose just took the fucking crown off my head. So I guess I was, uh, I'm the Lou Gehrig. <laughs> starfish, yes, the brown starfish. King Robbie, we want King Robbie on the cover. Holy shit. Who got a claws? He wants to see sodomy on the cover. Sodomy of fel double felonies. Age wise, and well, I guess he's age wise, he's technically he's old enough, but the mental capacity means. <laughs> I'm getting too deep into this. Kean Auerbach, what's up? How are you, Kean? I'll try to make it all proud to come. Come, yes, I'm always proud when I come. I'm just, I'm a little out of breath sometimes. Kephas, what's up, Kephas? Maji, what's up, Maji? What's going on? Is Greg, is Greg check his email himself? Yes, he's like 20. I know, he is, but the, uh, the, the, the where's Waldo getting his dick sucked by Waldo? <laughs> Whoa, Kiana is here. <laughs> um, yes, Greg does check his email. Uh, the Instagram, his girlfriend does that. Hey, Wolfpack. Hey, Hamburg. 
Keegan's so sweet. She says hi to everybody and everything. She makes sure she mentions all of you guys' names. She sees you. She's aware. Oh, my God. It's like Waldo took a vacation to the Bahamas. Waldo. Imagine that. He had to take that. St- I, that's what, yeah, that Keith, you're right. Oh, I was about to say that stupid shirt he's wearing. Now I get it. What's your thoughts on girls with tattoos? I think they're cool. I mean, I like tattoos, so I think they're sexy on girls sometimes. Sometimes when you don't know they have a tattoo until you have your tongue near their cunt and then you see one by their hip, that's a great tattoo. <laughs> Would you use King Robbie's smack for frosting for your cookies? He won for five grand. Uh, five grand for one cookie of baked smegma, like, so it takes some of the fucking shit out of it? Yeah, I would. That's good money. I could use that money for a while. She married the, she's married, though. For, yes, she is. And her husband's a good fucking dude. I fucking met him at the Olympia last year. They were a fucking proud military couple serving our country with honor. So do not say anything bad about them. Um, so yes, I, I, Joe, love the photo of your mom and dad at your dad's. Oh, thank you, Gav. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Definitely. Uh, much appreciated, bro. Big Bank Barfield. Wow, that's a fucking mouthful. B to the third power. What's going on there, BBB? Um, but I, 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 I was thirsty before the show, and so I had a sip of water out of the toilet, uh, if you know what I mean. How would you get it from... So, as, yeah, how would you get it from? Because that would be a crime in itself. <laughs> Those parents. Oh, thank you, Al. Like, I appreciate it. Olympia this year is going to be awesome. Yes, it is. Especially when I see you make out with another girl. <laughs> oh, it's going to be so great when you spin the... I might even go in drag so I can make believe I'm a chick and I can make out with all you guys. Who do you think will win this year? That picture of Sean Roden looks like that uh, maybe people were selling him short. Oh, he'll never be in shape. He looked pretty good on Instagram this morning. So, I don't know. I, I haven't really... I was I, 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 I was going to say uh, uh, Roly Winkler, only because I think he's got more pizzazz. And I think they want somebody with pizzazz to win. So, I'm going to say... If Sean is out of shape, like not perfectly on, Roley wins it. But Sean looked pretty good today. So, Wolfpack, I appreciate it. No, they like me, though. It was my honor. What's the odds on Trump getting reelected? It's bet the house, bro. He, he's going to he's gonna romp. He's going to romp in a re... It's going to be worse than, than when Nixon fucking beat fucking Mondale. <laughs> In 72. <laughs> Nobody on this thing was probably born then. <laughs> what about Kai Green? Will he compete? Never. Never going to compete in the Olympia ever again. It hasn't in many... I, I don't think he's ever going to compete again. Because he hasn't... Roly has two things going. Biceps and a smile. But he, you know what it was? He's got a little more... Like, like, like you know... He's out there more. Sean Roden is so quiet. It actually works against him that he's... A good guy and just mellow and shit. If you watch where the money is in an election, which I fucking Trump is gonna fucking romp. Come on, what? There was nothing on that other fucking side that could fucking even stand in his fucking shoes. I'd rather see Big Rob win, of course. Why wouldn't we? Forget about the bullshit polls. I, I polls to me. Even when a poll it looks good for the people I like, I don't put too much stock in them. I think I can beat my next year now that. Wings is running. Did you see though? They signed a uh, a new a, a title sponsor. So Wings is paying for I don't know because they were the presenting sponsor. So now it's uh, another different one. Echoes full giant. Brandon, Brandon, what's up, pal? How you been, buddy? So it's like almost that year that uh, was it Universal paid for the title sponsor. So it was. Universal Nutrition presents Mr. Olympia Weekend, and then it said, brought to you by Amazon Sport. That was such a double dip. So it looks like that's what's happening again. It looks like Jake put a lot of money out there. But he wasn't the title sponsor, but they had the Wings of Strength next to his thing. 
I think honestly, what the right management, Jason become just as famous as he cash me outside girl and become a millionaire. Yes, I spoke to Jason on the phone yesterday. His new column is done. It's make America piss again. All right. Well, you know what? I'm not going to put the poll out there. Brandon hasn't been on in a while, so we're going to go live. Oh, giant. Brandon, who goes ahead of the time, would have been. We're waiting for Echo's full giant. Super. Okay, What's guys. up, Brandon? So, hey, recently, is that, a, is recently, that a, new, a new uh account that you have, or is that a fake one? Some, if somebody had an account that looked like uh, your picture. Um, Fake one? I guess. Okay, I wasn't sure if you had a second account, and then I saw Echo's full giant. So... I guess it no, was fake. I'm dead. Um, yeah, I typed in my name on Google, Echo Ethel Giant, and a lot of shit popped up. I'm like, what? Oh, good. See, you're popular. It's out there because you've been, you've been working it. Um, but um, recently, I made a new song, like, and I posted it. You guys should go check it out, Okay. It's really okay, cool. it's on your Instagram, I take yeah, it, right? Yeah, I have a lot of new songs. They're really good. You should go check it out. And um, maybe you should use some of my good songs, not the song you used on that video. I don't really like that song that much. But Wasn't made... that the one you made about humanity, though? Yeah, but I made a I lot of... I thought that was your favorite. I made a lot of better ones recently. All right, I'm going to have to, you, if you have them on the YouTubes, put them on the YouTubes, because that's how I can rip them and put them on my thing. Okay. And um, everyone in this um, live stream, check it out. My in Instagram get name is Echo Hustle Giant. Go check it out, you know, after this live stream, you know? Yes, after the live stream. Very good. See, you, you are definitely have become a, uh, a social media giant, in my opinion. <clears throat> Thank you, bud. I say, appreciate it. Brandon, say this. What do you think about that, Dale? No. That's Dale Chance just joined, so I'm just saying. that's You're not saying anything wrong. Just say it. Uh, it definitely, it, it's, it's funny. He'll get it. It's, a, it's an inside joke. Okay, Dale. What do you think about that, Dale? What do you think about that, Dale? There you go. Perfect. Dale is laughing his balls off right now, wherever he is. I don't know if he's home or at work or in his car, but yes, that is a, uh, a big Lenny Delray Misfits Dale Chance uh, line. Infamous line. I'm still the leader, correct? Yes. You are still the leader of Team Humanity. See, Dale wrote, "Yeah, buddy, he gets it. It's a, it's, it. Trust me, it's good. I'm not. I wouldn't I, set you up to say something bad. I just been busy, you know, um, music and other stuff. You know, okay. People like me don't have time to be on this live, like on every live stream, you know, because I do a lot of things. How many lives do you do a week now? I do one every day. Every day? Okay. All right. On, on my um, Instagram. Echo I do it at least once a day giant. because my fans will unfollow me if I, if I don't, like, entertain them. <laughs> well, it's always good to be entertaining, you know? That's yeah. part of the uh, process. And that's why I feel I'm, I'm tired today. I, I don't think I'm doing my job very well. So I'm glad that you came in to help me out a little bit. I'm exhausted, too. I mean, um, I have over 2K now. Excellent. You know, by the end of the summer, I'm doing something. I plan on getting over 10K. And then, um, you know, we'll go from there. So you want to add 8,000 followers over the summer. That's a good goal. Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to at least get 400 followers a day. By... All right. That's, uh, I hope, I listen, I wish you the best of luck. I hope I you mean, that number. 
I mean, I'm not going to tell you my secret, but I found a secret <laughs> on how to make a lot of followers. Okay. Well, yeah, if you tell me, then it won't be a secret. Yeah. Maybe you can tell me in a DM if you'd like. You don't have to tell on a Well, why well, do show. I have to tell you? You already have a lot of followers. I I want more though. I'm 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 selfish. <laughs> well, probably some of my um fans are in this live stream. They'll probably follow you if you are I nice. I hope so. I hope and cool. You know You can throw me a bone a little bit. That's what they call That's throwing a bone. Yeah, guys, this is a retired policeman, Joe Pataro. You know, he's pretty funny, you know, but um, Joe Pataro, like I said before, calm down with. Truth, I'm not making that up. That's the, that's well, wait, the I, I have something. What do you think about them trying to bomb Iran? They didn't try to bomb Iran. What they're trying to do is they're trying to uh, put regulations on them and, and sanctions so that they can't build the nuclear weapon and have a good uh, thing. You just mean like the issues with Iran. I'm, I, I, yeah. I'm probably just surmise it for you. It's, uh, it, it is what it is. Iran's been bad since the 70s. They've been a bad player on the globe. So they can't be treated as a good country. You know, as a, as an ally, because they're not. So, uh, Iran needs needs to be slapped a little bit. So instead of shooting at them, Pataro, killing I'm people, gonna, I'm gonna help you get more subscribers and stuff. But you have to listen to me, okay? Before what you were doing, that doesn't work. You got to like be funny, but don't use profanity. You know, there's a lot of people in this world that don't like that. You know. A lot of people do, though. But when did I, I'm trying to tell you about Iran. I didn't curse. I know, but I'm just saying for the future, I'm just... Just in general, just in the yeah. middle of, while I was answering your question, you figured you'd just tell me... Yeah, just know, getting on top had nothing of to do with it. That's yeah, a, yeah. That's exactly. a good conversation, you know, skill. That's definitely shows you that you're, you're really good at that. So Jimmy Carter created the Iran mess. Palace. I know I'm not supposed to get off topic, but I just was thinking about that, so I just put it out there. You can get off topic all you want, bro. It's fine. I told you, this is your floor right now. My my house is your house. Um, everyone in this live stream, remember to follow me. <laughs> I'm I'm school giant. I'm, Show I'm him kidding. some love, Brandon Kent. I'm kidding. I'm not... Yo, bro, I'm not going to self-promote. Not again. All right, All right. I'm not you know what? I don't even mind. I'm in a good mood. You can sell. So you're not. You're not a, so what do you think about the Iranian mess? I That's think. A question uh, I, gave you, I have opinion. no opinions. I don't watch the news. I just hear people talking about it. I don't. It's, you should watch the news, though. It's actually very important to know. Current events is are, it's a very important thing. I mean, you're an adult and stuff. You, you follow that stuff because it's it, it it a lot of it's life and death situations. Yeah. So who are you voting for? Um, isn't that confidential? No, of course not. Yeah, it is. It doesn't have to be. I'm voting for Donald J. Trump. I will say it before I even know who he's running against. I'm not voting for anyone. <laughs> you're not going to vote? So you're, you're not going to vote for, like, Joe Biden or Bernie Sanders, let's say? You're gonna oh, vote I could for... vote for Bernie Sanders. I like Bernie Sanders out of all of them. He was a cool guy. Why? What does Bernie do that makes you want to vote for him? I mean... Exactly. I mean, That's why you should vote for Trump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, trust me, Bernie's not going to make your college debt go away. Don't believe. Yo, that do you moment. think they're gonna they're gonna run again? Well, he's in the primary. He's gonna be. Uh, he's gonna be in the uh, in the uh, running. 
you know, there's 24 candidates right now on the other side. I voting for Trump, Gav Garten says. Now we see Brandon's hair. Oh, All right. All right. So, guys, I'm going to talk about, I made this organization separate from Team Humanity. It's called the Peacekeeping Organization. I mean, I just made that to help people. I made, like, a group called that. Okay. And the rules are love one another Love one another as you love yourself. Number two, treat others like you want to be treated. Number three, if you ever need help with anything, I'm here for you. Just don't panic. You're not alone. Just letting you know you're not alone. Because as a leader, I'm always here for you guys. Whenever you need my help, just message me and I'll talk about it. Okay? And um, number four, don't oppress the weak. Number five, um, don't don't inquire in adultery. Don't have adultery. You almost sound like it's the Ten Commandments. It's the Five Commandments almost. So it's, so you can do half of the things that'll put you in hell, but the other half you gotta you got total line, as they say. No, you know the Ten Commandments. Um, I don't know them offhand. I could probably start scratching them out, but I. Uh, you know, I know thou shalt not kill and things like that. Yeah. Cover thou thy neighbor's not, wife. It depends. Not. The old neighbor's wife, yes. I didn't, the new neighbor's wife, I didn't get a good enough look at her yet. Thou shalt not um, oppress the weak. Thou shalt not involve in adultery. Thou shalt not um, bother the neighbors. Don't embarrass each other or something. Thou shall not drink out of the toilet at the detention center on yo, the border. Yo, you're going off topic again. I'm all serious. I'm all business. Oh, oh, you're the only one that can go off topic. I forgot. I'm sorry. My apologies. Thou shall no. not go off topic is the 11th commandment. Yeah. We had an extra room on the fucking stone, so we scratched. Thou shall not go off topic. Yo, bro. Fly in soup. Keep this. Bro, bro. Yo, oh, I, oh, I slipped. I said, uh, I said the f word. I think I have a bigger name than you on like Google, YouTube. So, calm down. You're in the presence of a celebrity. Okay. Thou shalt not have a bigger name than Brandon on YouTube and Google. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thou shalt not. Orgasm in neighbor's wife's left eye. Yo, yo, don't talk about, don't talk dirty. I no didn't say likes. dirty. I, I used the, the, the clinical term. Yo, my fans don't like that. Thou shalt not like... shoot a soft rope. Wait, you don't, you don't talk, okay? If you don't know, how, like, how to talk clean, because my fans don't want to hear dirty stuff. Otherwise, I'm late. Oh. <laughs> oh, Brandon, you're a fucking champ. I like this guy. Oh, so what is your major in school? You're in college. I know you're a college-educated uh, young man. What is your major? Liberal arts. What well, was your like, major? What, what are you going to change it to, though? What, what was your major during the Titanic? During the Titanic, my major was swimming. That's why I'm here. <laughs> uh, he's going to wash my mouth out with soap. Yes, connected to his balls. <laughs> hey, hey. Blame it. So, all right, you're taking liberal arts, but you're going to eventually have a, 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 a focus on your studies. What is it going to be? Do you have? I mean, you're into the music. I thought it'll be something with I'll, music. I want to be a teacher. You're going to do education, okay? I want to mm. educate others. I want to help others. And all and of what kind should, of teaching uh, is all it going to be? You should um, follow under my footsteps and teach and help people as well. Because well, a that's lot what of I people, do on this program there, every week. There, no, you don't. There's a lot of people out there that are poor and they have nothing. And we have the obligation to help those in need. 
And the well, why can't they get a job help themselves? The, the grown-ups are talking again. But wait, wait, hold on. They're poor. So well, why are they poor? Why can't they? There's a, when they walk by the bodega all right, all right, or the ghetto, when it says, right, no, help wanted, and also, though. And also, work in the hospitals. Help those that get injured. Help those that, like, like are in pain. Like, you guys are lucky for what you have. Give, a, give something else to someone else. You know, help them with their life. But I don't want to, then I'm going to need help. So if I give them what I got, then I'm going to be that guy asking for help. So I, I'm going to drain on society if I give away. So I'm going to keep it all and be selfish. Well, don't give anything if you don't want, but you can help them, like, by um, talking to them, being nice to them, making them happy. You know how many people die a year from depression, from suicide and shit? I'm sure it's a lot. And, and yeah, they, a lot. You know why? Because they don't feel like they belong. People don't accept them. Well, I, I accept everyone. Yeah, but not everyone is accepting others. And I want you guys not to be like those bullies and treat others with, with bad behavior. I want you to be respectful, nice, friendly. All right? about the bodybuilder in Thailand? Do you think we should help him on his GoFundMe? You're getting off topic again. No, no. It's a, this is actually perfectly in topic. He has a GoFundMe because he had a leg uh, infection. Do you think we should help him if he made his own, you know, trouble? Um, but what about if it's an accident? Like, I was in a car accident when I was well, younger. It was that's, an accident. Why, that's what they make lawsuits for. You sue the other driver. What are we fighting? You don't like helping people? Actually, I don't. Because I think people need to help themselves. Like, I give to St. Jude. That's the children's cancer hospital. But if some guy is laying in the street saying, give me money, and he's perfectly capable of getting a job, the only thing he's going to get from me is a shoe up his butt. You don't know if the person on the street is either grew up with messed up parents, was born in an orphanage because the parents didn't want to raise him, or he's poor, like he said. But there's many reasons why a person could be on the street. How right. about if he just uses drugs and that's his choice? He that, became a that, drug addict. Maybe, maybe. I'm not saying no, but that's a possibility. Well, he's a drunk. That's a possibility. Okay, but then that's his fault. He should get his butt or her, get but his butt that's up not and clean every, up and get a job. That, that's not in every case. You should know that. Come on, you're a policeman. Yeah, and I would kick them off the corner and say, get out of here, you. You're taking up my air. So it's tell me, what, what, what did you do when you were a policeman? You helped people, right? You Depending saved, on the situation. You I saved, delivered babies, and I've also uh, put people uh, in, in bad places. <laughs> if somebody was a bad person, I didn't help them. I hurt them. Yeah, but the innocent people, you you protect them, right? Well, yeah, by putting the bad guy in the in the cage. Yeah. Yeah. People mm. need to be responsible for themselves, their own actions. You, you so, guys, guys, if you see a bully or in a school or anywhere mistreating another person, don't be a bystander. Up front the problem. Do what Joe Pitaro does. He he does something about it. He saves the day. He takes away the bad person and puts him away. What would you do if you were on the train and you saw, like, a guy, you know, like, doing something bad to somebody? Would you step in and say, hey, you know, I would stop hide bothering in that guy or stop stealing money from that guy? Would you do that? Not if he had a gun. I would hide in the closet. Well, yeah, well, that's different. That's not uh, on. Uh, if, 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 now, how about if he just you just saw a guy punching somebody and trying to take his wallet? Would you try I'll to like, be like if, yo, back off? 
and then I would right, run away. That's good. So I would run that's away good. so I don't get punched. But <laughs> well, then you're not really much help, though. You gotta if you if you're looking to help all these poor people, but now all of a sudden there's a, a victim in front of you and you're running the other way because you're you're worried about yourself. That's why I don't give the junkie the dollar because I might need it for an ice cream cone on a hot summer's day. And what's more important than an ice cream cone? Somebody that needs are food. Are you kidding me? Junk no, food. No, I'm totally serious. You don't need junk food. Look at you. You're like, how, how much do you weigh? Like 300 pounds, bro. Come on. I weigh what? 30 pounds? What? <laughs> how much do you think I weigh? 30? 300. 300? Jesus Christ. I'm not fat. I'm how fat. much do you think I weigh? I weigh 161. You're and a I'm slim tall. How tall are you, Brandon? I bet five you're 5'8". Five, five, five foot eight. You're five eight and you weigh one sixty. So you're I'm five foot nine. I weigh two hundred actually I weighed almost two ten on the scale. I might have put a few pounds on. I had some chocolate cake. See what junk food does to you? <laughs> it makes you gain a lot of weight, right? Yes, you definitely put some poundages on, but you know what? If you're at a party and they're serving a big cake, well, it's good to have a well, piece of it. If you eat some junk food, I hope you burn it off by exercising. Yes, my right arm. Am I being funny right now? I'm just talking, giving you good advice. I'm I'm giving you good answers. Right arm? What yes. Does that mean? That means I use it to masturbate. All right. I'm trying to be clean. See, Yo. you're making me be dirty. Why are you forcing me to use dirty language? Yo, bro, you're going come on. There's feet. kids on this live stream. Calm down, dog. There's kids on the live stream. Jay Trendfinger. That definitely is an underage person. I know for a fact. Yeah, so don't, don't be inappropriate. Come on, how are we educating these people here? Okay. Um, what else you got? Because I want to I want to wrap up and get back. So go ahead, G give one last plug, and I, I want to get back to the feed because I uh, uh, I want I want to talk to some uh, some other people. I, I I enjoyed our conversation, but um, my, my fan, a lot of my fans are joining. You really want to end this now? Um. Yes, actually, I do. Because I want, I want, I want to move on. I bet, bet. You don't want more followers? I'm not worried about that, buddy. I want to have fun. Oh, and I'm not fun. No, I didn't say that. But you've been on for a half hour, so I want to move on. <laughs> it already been a half an hour? Yes, it's three. It's been longer than that. I started a little late today, so it's been about a half hour, yes. Wow. All right. So Echoes Full Giant, put those songs on YouTube and, and I'll put them on MSTV, pal. All right. Everyone, say, say your line. Everyone, the team leader of Team Humanity, say it. I'm the new leader of Team Humanity. No, put I don't on have my, my buttons. I don't have on. my thing open. Okay. I'm the leader of Team Humanity. Well, that's me, not you. That's you. I'm, I'm echoing you. So oh, thank you, Brandon, for coming on and, and giving us some insight onto the world. And uh, I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, and have a lovely day. Bye, everyone. That's well. Likewise, sir. Brandon Kent, Echoes Full Giant. He's a good man. He has a good heart. Um, he wants to help people a lot. And I get, how can you knock a guy that wants to help people? I goof around and I tell them I would do nothing for them and stuff. Actually, that is the truth. I will. And uh, I definitely the ice cream cone thing I was lying about because I'm lactose intolerant. The only reason why. So I would get a, a, a ice, a lemon ice, because that won't make my poop soft. Uh, new universal order. I believe that Adam McLeod is going to also want to talk about Bernie Sanders and uh, helping people and toilet water fountains that are shaped like toilets. You're sideways, Adam. You guys, it's very serious. 
Oh, uh, he's Johnny. When we have to talk to Brandon, you guys. And Brandon doesn't look as handsome as me, you guys. He doesn't have the hairspray. He doesn't have the glossy lips. And it's very serious, you guys. To know who the team leader of Team Humanity is, you guys. And you guys, it's very serious. When I have to come on and make a video and talk to Joe about this, you guys. <laughs> and it's something. I take very serious, you guys. Other than my hair, my car, my lipstick oil. <laughs> and your t-shirt. And my t-shirt, guys. What am I going to do with you guys? <laughs> What's up, McLeod? What's up, man? I was about to blow my brains out with you guys having Brandon on there. Uh, Brandon's a good kid. You know that. I haven't had him on in a while, so I figured I would, you know, we would talk and have a few, uh, a few, uh, a few minutes together. Yeah, well, he stole a half an hour of your show, so I, I won't, I won't take too much of your time. I just wanted to say, <laughs> happy July Fourth! Celebrate your independence. Don't blow your anus up. Don't blow your fingers up. You guys be well and do good. Yes, Whatever thank you. Need. And likewise to you, McClude. All right. Enjoy. I'll don't. All right, pal. Be good there, Johnny Bravo. <laughs> Adam McLeod, new universal order. All right, man. I'll see you later, Adam. Thanks. Echoing his inner Johnny Bravo. With the sideways thing, <laughs> I say, wait, something. he was up to something. I knew it right away. So, yes, Brandon and Bravo slash McLeod coming on the program. Anyone going to tell that Brandon? Uh, to, uh, unblock Hugo to Claws, Brandon. My brain hurts after echoes. Yes, you need a dosage of the Joey Showerhead now. Lingerie Fighting League, what's up? You're on the new episode of Muscle Sport that... That posted this morning, Lingerie, when they're talking about why the different girls, why they join the LFC. Joe, you must stop saying he's a good kid. That's bullshit. He's deluded and promotes stupidity. I think he really means well. I think he's just, uh, you know, he's a young guy. He's, 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 he's got to get worldly. You already showered. Yes. How did it work out? How was I? Was I good? <laughs> <laughs> Moses, his head got hit by a car. Henry. I thought Lee Priest was the leader of Team Humanity. I think he stepped down, though. I think once he took the Iron Man mask off, he... <laughs> that was actually pretty good. That Lee Priest was going along when he was in the piss. <laughs> uh, so what is new with fucking uh, Big Rob? Does he still have the, uh, the the ruler in his pants? I don't give a shit. Hitler men well from his deluded perspective. <laughs> I'm doing good. <laughs> Deutschland, the fatherland. I'm doing good. Get them sheenies out of here. One way or the other. I did not get a countdown. I got I I got fucking. Nothing. It was just a big fucking stiff one. I was like, yeah, and then I'm going to... But... Oh. <laughs> yeah, I didn't... I, I should have known better. I should have known better that I wouldn't get a countdown. <laughs> Stop it, Brandon. Uh, so I, I did get on late today, so I'm, I'm kind of not sure of when my 60 minutes is up because I don't expect to see a countdown today. Yes, it, it Instagram, yes, it does like to, don't curse, Alec, come on. Any Nutella mentions while I was gone? <laughs> no. Nari a one. They didn't even tickle your test. No, I'll be live tonight. Oh, Crystal Dot. I love the dots. Crystal Dot, Wildfire Dot, Anthony. Fourth of July, I'm doing Stars and Stripes. But she will be on Wildfire Weekly tonight on her, her channel. You can see her right there. She just talked. 6 p.m. She's going to do it live from the shower with Joey the Showerhead. Yes, Joey will be singing to her. <laughs> Big Rob is the spawn of Hitler. Oh, my God. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry, Alec. I told you. I, 
I don't know what the fuck. I do need a second cup of coffee. You know, the, I do have this pre-workout. So, but I, I, you know, to me, I, I like that hot coffee. Crystal dot wildfire dot Anthony. Yeah, darn tootin'. There's a lot of dots in there. I'd love to dot her with my salty freak. <laughs> you got to get big Lenny on post hospital. Yes, Lenny is home. Jay said it on his um, bedroom Billy Bonanza episode that posted this morning on MSTV. Lenny is out of the hospital. So, Brenda, welcome to the program, Brenda. What is the pre the profession called that they can see with these stupid stripes. It's hard for me to read. I can't wear this shirt anymore. What is the profession called of the guy who turned on the electric chair? Um, yeah, what would that be called? Fucking the switch guy, I guess. He's like the guy that fucking pulls the fucking thing and lets the drop when they hung up. I like the dots. So oh, I'd love to fucking dot you all over that body. <laughs> Big Rob goes to Planet Fitness. Did he? The Red Dot Army. <laughs> Where is Mikey? <laughs> Hello, Brenda. How are you, sweetheart? Looking nice in that photo. It's little, but I can tell you're a little. You're a looker. You're a cutie. <laughs> the executioner. Yes, I guess that would be the problem. <laughs> and depending on who's in the chair, one lucky guy. I love McCuck's impression. McCuck, stop. Hobo Splendido. I've never seen that. Joe, I think Brandon woke you up. Yes, he did. He put everybody else asleep. <laughs> the electric fire. <laughs> you gotta hope if you're in the electric chair that that guy's a fucking Jew and it's Friday because <laughs> he can't touch the switch then. <laughs> He's called the cook. Yes. Yes, he's called the cook. He fries them. They put the fucking bag over their head because their eyeballs come popping out. It's like a cartoon when they see a pretty girl. A doing. I would love to fucking be the executioner. Uh, you're not my friend. Ariana is your friend. He loves you. He says so many good things about you in our white power DM. You have no idea. Um, <laughs> the execution. <laughs> Is that true? The thing? Yes. Yes. Why do you think they put the hood over the guy's head? Now, they put the hood on his head when they hang them. I think it's more for them to not see what's going on. Like the tough guy goes, I don't need no damn hood, like in the old Gunsmoke episode. But the electric one is because their eyeballs come out. Yeah, another word for execution. A hero, yes. <laughs> yes, it, it definitely, if it's a scum bucket that needs to go, then uh, uh, that, that guy definitely is a hero. We all should take him out for a fucking lunch. A big spread of sandwiches. Hero for a hero. Let's start that. The hero for the hero. The muscle was coming back quick. Dale Chance is a fucking champ. They should call you Dale Champ. Of North Carolina of October. We're going to be there to see him. I, that's my plan. Oh, my God. Do you, have you ever seen pics or videos of that? That I did not. No. But I've seen people that were electrocuted, like DOAs and stuff. Uh, there was a thing. They used to have him. They probably still do it. At the, um, uh, in the fucking uh, medical examiner's office in New York City, Manhattan. They have a museum. And they had a charred penis and testicles. And it was because the guy was pissing on the third rail in the subway and it electrocuted him through a conductor through the liquid and fried him and he died. And his dick and balls were all fucking fried. And I think it was a white guy, you know, so it really was fried. Don't mean, don't be mean to people, Brandon Hurst's feelings are here when not friends. See, yeah, he's, be, he's being mean. Nucky Thompson, what's up, Wayne, my man, Wayne, my buddy. What is that? The Nucky's in the house. Brent Supps, CEO. What's up there, CEO? How are you, Brent? If JLQ, electrocuted with her eyes out of the cartoons, would you bang her dead body? Yes, if you previously signed an agreement. For that. I would bang it even if it was 
Hold. <laughs> they look like a charred hot dog. It actually looked like, like a fucking. Uh, it's hard to explain. Yeah, kind of did, I guess. You know, I, I'm trying to picture.